Welcome to today's video guys and what I want to give you a look at is a range of rods that have been very popular for us. If you've uh, been in store you probably have seen these rods before because they've been out for about six months now. They're just very good value for money rods. They suit our conditions perfectly for the jigging that we're doing and a bit of the light, light tackle bottom fishing. If you haven't heard of them before it's called the Assassin Pitchmaster series. Now these rods are available in four spin rods and four overhead rods. And, you know, for a mid-range rod, uh, these start at about $319 and they go up to $369. But they're pretty much ideal for, you know, for light tackle jigging from PE2 to kind of PE5 lines. They suit really well with small size reels. So, like I was saying, there's four overhead rods and there's four spin rods. So, the spin ones work really well with a 5,000 or a 6,000 size spinning reel. Um, I've matched this particular rod up here with a 6,000 Daiwa uh, Saltist, which again is kind of like a mid-range reel. You can put, you know, um, a Surtate SW, a Maverick, a Saltiga, whatever you like on these rods. The one thing I like about a lot of these, a lot of these rods is the action of them and how they load up, but there's a lot of power in the base of the rod. So. The, the rods are quite tippy. What we'll actually do in a minute is I'll load some of these rods up with Honsu and we can kind of have a little bit more of a look at some of the actions. You know, nice small grips on the rod. We've got the split grip butt section here. Nice small little EVA butts so that the rod is ultra lightweight. I'll give you a quick look at the overhead rod as well. So I've matched this one up here with a Sol Tiga. Now you obviously don't need to spend as much and put a high end reel on but I like high-end reels, so that's why I put that one on there. So this would match perfectly well with even a Salter Star Drag jigging reel. The overhead is nice. It's got a lot of guides on it, so the line's do uh, line doesn't touch the blank. And the one thing that I really do like with the overhead models is that all the guides are double bound. So we've got double foot guides, you know, that are, that are bound. So you can actually fish with a decent size leader knot. I'll get Honsu here if you want to come here and we'll load up some of these rods and give you a look at the action. So, like I was saying, they're quite tippy in the, the tip of the rod, um, but there's plenty of power in the base of the rod here. So, when you hook a big jewfish, a big snapper, um, a Samson fish, you've got a lot of stopping power. So, we'll load this spin one up as well. And this one here is quite a, quite a nice one. Great for running PE3 braided line. And you can see, if you just pull down on that Honsu, there's a lot of power in the base of these rods so you can see just how powerful this blank actually is and we've got a lot of pressure on right now but a really good range of rods guys that i think if you don't want to go spending too much you know it, it's definitely something that's that's really worth considering and at that price point extremely durable some of the other rods on the market in that price point they feel, some of them feel a little bit light, but these things here, that they're powerful. You can really, really run some higher drags through these and, you know, be pretty confident in, in the range of rods. I'm just gonna give you a quick look at some of the actions on these rods as well before we finish the video up. But this particular one here, we'll just run through a couple of the different ones. So this is the overhead model in the medium. So they rate this one at PE 1.5 to PE 3. So we can load that. Load that down, please. You can see a lot of uh, the, the tip is quite light and the rod will fold away, but it gives you a lot of power in the base. So right now when this rod's loaded, you can see here that it's quite stiff in the base of the rod. So it gives you a lot of power when um, that fish is taking a decent run. Next one. Now this one here is the medium heavy, which is rated P2 to P4 line, matched well with the Saltiga. And again, similar type of action with a lot in the base. Um, enough, you know, the tip's light enough there to work the jig. If you just lightly, lightly put it, you can see enough action there to work the jig. But once you really want to load it up, plenty of power in the base of the rod. Now we'll look at the two spin models that we have here, which again is a spin medium P 1.5 to P 3. Really nice action. You can pull down on that a little bit more. A little bit more um, parabolic in the base of the rod, but again, still plenty of power. And we'll just finish up with this one here, which is the 
medium heavy again in the spin PE 2 to 4 this one is probably my favorite out of the lot uh, I, I think you know, if you want to stop big fish it's still light enough to work the jigs work the vibes um, if you want to throw a, a bottom meat on it then this one here is quite a quite a good model but pull on that one and again you can just see how much power there is in the base of this rod you can fish P3, P4 line through this rod and you've got some serious stopping power. So guys, check them out. The Assassin Pitchmaster series of rods are all in stock now at Tackle West and it's something I think you should have a look at. You.